Hello, my soil fam. This is Kay of Renee's Garden. I am out here in the garden today. I have some maintenance that I have to do. You see my little push mower over there, so I gotta start cutting this grass, you guys. Um, I usually fertilize my plants every other week, so I do have my fertilizer in there sitting. I'm using the yeast and sugar fertilizer again. I use it every couple of weeks. And so, um, and then I wanna share with you some of the things that are going on in the garden right now that are actually doing really, really well. So anyway, I wanna get the most bang for my buck, so I try to uh, use that yeast fertilizer, and then I'm just kinda experimenting to see if that's giving my plants the boost that it needs throughout the growing season, or just leave them alone and do what I've been doing before I started using the yeast and fertilizer. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this grass before it gets hot. As you can see, it is overcast. I don't know if you can see that. So it's kind of cloudy up there. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up, put this hat on and get this grass cut. So I'm done with this grass cutting for now. Now I have to go back here and clean up these leaves, you guys. So I have a bucket here. I'm just gonna rake them and put them in a bucket. Don't throw those leaves away because you can compost with those or you can mulch with those. Anyway, you guys, stay tuned. So I cleaned up as much of those leaves as I'm gonna clean up. I put them in a bucket. I'm gonna put them in my compost bin or mulch with those. I have my fertilizer here. See how it looks, it's on foamy. So I have my bucket of water over here. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my bucket of water. This is the yeast and sugar fertilizer. There's my bucket there. And something to start with as well so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and I'm gonna start fertilizing these plants so of course the Sun started coming out on me but at least these plants in here are shaded and so typically I usually do it early morning before the Sun comes out or in the evening um, before I go to bed so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get these watered up a little bit and get them fertilized and uh, we're gonna see how they do the good thing is that it's not gonna be that hot today. It's gonna to be about 82, so that's not so bad. It gives my plants a break from all this heat um, so they can get a chance to catch up because they always suffer a little bit of heat stress in the summertime, um, even though you're watering and, all, and fertilizing and all that good stuff. So the plants that are shaded, they seem to be doing pretty good. Actually, all of them seem to be doing pretty good. They're tolerating the heat pretty well. And so let me go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna water them a little bit and then get them fertilized.
good thing is I'm only doing my flowering plants. So I'm doing the eggplants, I'm doing the peppers, and I'm doing the tomatoes. So, oh, and okra. some on this blueberry uh, bush as well. these peppers and this okra over here. You see those spinning top peppers are turning red. good. I actually have a piece on, or a couple of pieces of okra on there. Let's see if you guys, can you guys see that? Can you see that okra over there? So I am excited about that. I did pull one off yesterday. So I'm bouncing you guys around. This tripod here is so wide at the bottom. But anyway, let me go ahead and get these fertilized real quick. are done, then we're going to move on down to these tomatoes. Every couple of weeks, you guys, you can use this fertilizer. And uh, it's been working really good with these plants. Uh-oh. Trying to get you guys level.
so happy with the way this tomato plant is looking since I moved it. Because it was about to get pulled and tossed. And these are some really good tomatoes. It's the Black Prince tomato. Those are actually really, really good. Giving these carrots a little bit more uh, water. It's been really dry out here. I had to come out here and dust my, um, my squash plant. Those white flies were having a field day, and I was like, they're gonna learn today, not over here. All right, got those fertilized there, and uh, oh, I have one back here this little baby Bubba over here. So that's in that container. I'm gonna get that one as well. you can see those white flies were going to town so I had to dust it now I don't see any on it so little buzzards so your squash plants is one of those plants that is very prone to fungus and so you can either use a watering a watering can with a long nozzle or I'm just gonna put this hose all the way at the bottom of the content well not the bottom but on the top of the soil that way I'm not getting water all over the leaves I'm not even going to turn it on until I put it all the way to the base there and then I'm putting it on the light spray that way I don't get water all over the leaves and before I lift it up out of that container I'm going to turn that nozzle off squash so I'm excited about those. I hope that they are plentiful and delicious. Alright fam so we are moving on over to the tomatoes. I got a little water on those already. Awesome variety. All right, so I got that one here. And uh, I have a cup of uh, another little tomato over here. And then I have the peppers that are on the patio, so I have to get to those. This little tomato plant here is looking kind of crazy, but we don't work with her because she's still producing. And uh, starting to ripen my cayenne pepper. 
Look at that baby starting to ripen finally. That thing is huge. So I think two of them are starting to ripen on there. So I'm excited about those. So I'm gonna move on over to the patio, you guys. So I'm gonna take the camera over here. Rosella tomato up here. So these are cherry tomatoes. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera in the shade right now because the sun is starting to come out. So I need to get some water in these raised beds here. few flowers coming on there and I told you guys I had to spray it because it was being eaten up and uh, the other one over on this side as well was being eaten so let me get those watered and This maintenance done as I possibly can. I don't have to do any of this stuff over the weekend. They'll already be fertilized. I'll have to come out here and water, of course, but that'll be it. Well, this one is starting to get more foliage on it because I was getting ready to pull that one as well. Um, I still may because it's not really anything going on with it. So I will fertilize this one though. But I mean, I still have a little bit of that mixture. So I might as well go ahead and put some on there just to see if it's going to give it a boost and uh, get it going again. seeds in here like the beginning of the year and none of them sprouted so I just planted other things and look that baby came right on up goodness so uh, it may just stay in there because you uh, soon 
This tomato plant will be coming out and this pepper will be coming out, so we'll see. And remember, if you have any of the mixture left, just put it in the refrigerator. All right, so those are the only ones that I will be fertilizing. All right, fam, so I got everything watered up and uh, fertilized. Got my grass trimmed, but look at this celery. So I just moved these over from one city picker to the other. Um, and look, more foliage is coming on. So if, whether you're growing it at home from seed or transplants from your local nursery or big box store, or you're purchasing it from the grocery store, you cut that bottom part off, keep that, set it in water until it gets some roots on it, and then you can put it in the soil. And look it more celery so this one's doing really good it was drooping when i first moved it over but now it's standing up and doing its thing so excited so look at these pretty uh okra blooms over here and then i want to share with you the tai long so the tai long is really doing good so i have two small ones here and then these are some larger ones i had to dust this one as well because uh, those white flies were driving me insane. There's another one coming in here. And there's a ton more flowers on here. You see all these flowers on here? So this joker here does the most, you guys. So if you plan on ever growing the Thai Long, for me, it's going to be a yes. You see it's some little ones over on that side as well. Uh, the Black Beauty, they were struggling just a little bit. I had to dust those as well. But uh, they look like they're doing all right now since I moved them from where they were. I think they were just getting too much heat. So now that the weather is kind of calming down, it's still hot, but it's cool in the you know at um, at night in early morning. So the kale is starting to look look a lot better. So so all my kale babies, they are looking good. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm always excited about the garden, guys. You know that. <laughs> so as you guys can see, this house is nasty. This is just overnight, you guys, because I come in here and clean this every morning. So I'm gonna get my vinegar water and I'm gonna get my little scoop of there, clean all this stuff up and get all my little dusting done. You see all this dust over here? There go Miss Nosy Pants. She gotta see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna get that all cleaned up as well. And then I'm gonna be done out here, you guys. They are upset with me because I'm in their space. I gotta get this cleaned up. So, they're gonna have to wait a minute. So, just have me a little work and a scooper. And I get all that out of there, off the floor. There's no poop in there. I do not want flies flying around their house.
and then they are molting, so there's feathers everywhere. feathers out of there, all the poop out of there, off the floor. I have my vinegar water. So, clean these walls up. So, I'll wipe down their roosting bar and these walls with vinegar water. That's my, one of my morning chicken chores. And, uh, perfect job but it's tolerable it smells nice in there so I'm gonna add a little bit more of the uh, bedding in there down on the floor I'm gonna dust this area off um, and then I'm gonna close it up so they can get in there and do their laying make sure you're always using gloves when you're cleaning your chicken houses getting some of that dust out of here now. fam i am done with all my garden work out here i appreciate you guys all watching hanging in there with me while i get all my maintenance done thank you so very much and i will see you all next time in the garden make sure to like share comment subscribe to the channel if you have not already hit the notification bell so that you know when new content has been uploaded thanks again bye everyone